Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign at EU4, Schizophrenic Sovereignty, in a rare, rare change of pace. We are playing Brazil now for 10 years. See, we tag switched. <laughs> it was random. All right, please don't hate me for this. We're going to do it. I'm looking at the Brazilian ideas right now and I don't really like them. Um, we've got negative one attrition, sorry, plus one attrition for enemies, negative 25% travel time, 10% taxes, 10% institution spread rate. Uh, plus 0.1 yearly inflation reduction, 10% infantry combat ability, minus 15% core creation cost, minus 10% stability, plus 1 year legi yearly legitimacy, and plus 10% goods produced. Now, obviously the minus 50% core creation cost is pretty good, and the infantry combat ability is pretty good, but we would lose the 10% morale of armies and the 10% regiment costs, the 10% idea cost. Like, there's a lot of these, like, that I actually really like. Also, the global settlers, plus 20. Like, there's, there's things in here that I think are actually... Better. So I'm going to say we keep our colonial ideas, which is heresy, I know, but um, that's okay. So army maintenance. We're losing 0.5 ducats a month now because reasons. We are Brazil, which is great. We've gained claims on all the things, so that's cool. We could almost attack that guy, which means we might also have new missions. No. Damn. Brazil's not special enough for new missions. Okay, but we have you at 874. And we're independent. Let's check our situation with allies. Nice. So going up in kingdom rank, we did get an extra diplomat and more states and stuff. Is there a government type, by the way, that would be better than what we have right now? I think we're already the highest version that we can have. This administrative monarchy. It's okay. It's pretty good. All right, we have still no other trade nodes in range to send that extra merchant. Our colony is at 600. We were checking to see if anyone wanted to be our friend. Any allies? Wiska. Great Britain, negative 34. Distance between borders, negative 20. Brazilian army strength, negative 17. Probably don't like the fact that I'm kind of low on tech. Although you technically have an unknown opinion of me at the moment. Since we did gain a, uh, a diplomat, let's send one up there. 43 papal influence. We are independent, so I can establish rivals, and we could swap religion now if I wanted to. So we're going to rival Tupanamba. We're going to rival Port French Columbia. Alright, let's cross our fingers and hope that this guy does not want to attack us. And allow me to go and pick off a couple quick provinces. I am still strongly considering switching to um, Protestant. I would just like to get Papal Influence to 50 and take one more click before we do that. When can we send an Emissary? In 65? Five more years? Hmm. Alternatively, we generate two per year, so in three years, we'll have enough. I guess we could wait three years. And of course we got caught. I mean, of, of course we did. Why wouldn't we get caught? We can build boats. We could... we need to establish rival uh, embargoes. That's a thing. And the lying interface about attacking French Columbia is likely to be misleading. Right now we only have Humiliate Rival and it's actually not showing that France would come in. But, um... So you check rivals, army size. Yep, he still has no troops. He does have income. They, they spawn with no troops now for some reason, which is kind of strange. We've got embargoes on all three of our rivals. We can insult somebody next month. We can't train more troops. We just have 10 whole infantry, and that's it. Meanwhile, this colony is at almost the point where I want to declare. This one's at 900. This one's at 883. I'm going to wait a couple more months. Sale of titles. Gain some ducats. Lose loyalty with the nobles. Gain loyalty with the burghers. Well, the nobles are the ones that are already on the decline. Gaining stability, on the other hand, sounds really nice. Astrakhan does things. Alright, it would still cost me... Brazilian Separatists, 100 ducats. 
It's so much money. That's so hard to obtain. How close are we to 11 force limit? Five more development. Hmm. Still can't afford monarch uh, advisors. Might want to focus on admin since that's the one we're the most behind on. And we don't generate a lot of it over the next few years. And if I had to do a development, I, I would prefer to do administrative development for the extra base tax. There's some war exhaustion from our war. When we declared war, we picked up three war exhaustion. So there is that argument for not doing anything for the moment. All right. I'm, I'm committing to this. I'm going to just wait until these are at the sweet spot. About 950. Well, as close to 950 as possible without being at 950. And then we are going to attack Tupanamba. Despite the fact that he might come over here and murder me. Tupanaba has... Never mind, he has no army at all right now. What the hell? He's got one troop. Okay. 916. 904. This is his capital area, unfortunately, so we, we do have to siege down that fort. It's a gold mine! I want that gold mine so bad. I feel I feel guilty, as, as I always do, attacking a former country that I played as, but... What can you do, right? Right, let's declare on January 1st. It's time. It's time to go to war. Now, I do want this to stay Protestant because I'm going to become Protestant. If I... If I complete it, it will be Catholic. But it won't be hard to convert afterward. He does have an ally, Charara. A one province minor on text 16. I don't think that's a problem. Still gonna declare. We could declare Reconquest. Um, that is the better CB by far. I think so. The province that we're going to definitely get to the first, the, the earliest is going to be somewhere on the northern side. Reconquest of that estuary, Rio de, Rio de Janeiro. That would be beautiful. Reconquest Rio de Janeiro. I don't care, we're doing it. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. We're going to win. We're going to send one troop there. He'll take care of all these colonies on his own. And then the nine stack is going to march down to Minas Gerias. We could have actually been in a better position, had most of the troops in Pontal, but my main focus is just getting these colonies done. So we need to keep one troop here so that we can click the seize colony button when it gets within like one month of completion. Because if I... If I uh, take the colony now, it's going to cost me four ducats a month to pay for it. And we don't want to pay for it for like a year. We want to just have the colony complete right away. And it is at 930 and 944. That's his job. Can't spy on you again yet. Relative strength of the alliance is... It's okay. Charua is walking, walking through this whole area probably and losing a lot of troops. We should probably get started on this. I wish we had one cannon. So that we could get that thing done. So his colonists got kicked out. It will still grow at 85 per year. It's at 937. 85 divided by 12. So every month it's going to go up by 7. We just need to make sure to seize it on the right month. That one actually jumped up to 958. He must have the colonist thing do its job. The beater. Paper will now be produced in Kalmar and he gained 4 base production in Kalmar. I guess good for him. He found gems. How, how come you get to find gems and I find freaking grain? Doesn't seem fair. We are Brazil. We deserve to be in the Brazil node. Darn it. This is my node. You can't have it. Do a siege pip? No siege pip. Let's not put our ruler in charge. We don't lose. want to risk losing the, uh, the extra point. Of stability. And I'm gonna be pretty aggressive. Hold on now. I'm gonna leave two here. We can go down that way. We suffer a lot of attrition in this area, so we can't afford to do one stack sieges. Unless you have physical adjacency, which we're close to. This one's at 965, again growing by seven, so we've got a few months. There's no colonist here anymore, so it can't just jump up to a hundred to sorry to a thousand right away. So we get that other occupation. Actually, I'm not even going to occupy that. I'd rather he just keep on having his settler chance and 
growing it quicker for us. So this one is at 9, 9, 965 and 952. Annoyingly, you can't see the numbers over here. You have to actually click on the provinces. So in 1000 minus 965 divided by 7, in 5 months it will complete automatically. So in 4 months, which is going to be... We're in May, so in like September, we want to click that button. Seize it. And then we get a free colony, and we don't even have to... Um, we don't even have to... um pay any money for it, basically. Well, we pay military points, but... It doesn't even say it in this. It's like, it's, I think it's 25 military points, but for whatever reason, they, didn't, they never updated this. It does cost military points. Naturally, we suffer crazy amounts of attrition here. 4% per month. We start spying on you again yet? In July. I am just going to obsessively check this every month, because I want to make sure I don't mess it up. I would rather not... Um, ...suffer any... ...devastation in this area, but... ...looks like we are going to have to fight Charura. Charura's Tech 16 versus R16. He's got 7 troops, we've got 9 troops here. So, even if I just have to focus on suffering extra attrition and focus on the capital, I think we'll be okay. Until, of course, our other enemy trains more men, which he should be. He should be doing that. More enemies, current income. Yeah. <laughs> Tupanama does make 17 ducats a month. And he does have plenty of manpower. So, I can't imagine him not training troops. It's just going to be about trying to get him to peace out as quickly as we possibly can. We're losing Ticking War score. I need to get onto Rio de Janeiro. We're gone on the 14th. He's there on the 19th. He will lose a lot of money when we take that stuff. That is Tupanamba's one army. Interesting. Was not expecting him to do that. With his tech 19. I'm assuming he has 19, like the other guy. 18. One of his troops can probably beat one of my troops, although there doesn't appear to be a leader on that army, so maybe our one stack is okay, but we should probably just be safe and train one more troop anyway, just go over the force limit. Being 10% over the force limit will cost me 10% extra on every army, so that's an extra 0.27 ducats a month, plus the maintenance of the infantry, so it'll cost me a half ducat a month to go over, but I think we should do that. He's landing in Para, which is fine. Plus, we'll get a little bit of extra income when we seize those colonies. Arriving on the 5th, arriving on the 26th. Alright, this war is uh, going to make or break our country, so I need to do this right. He doesn't land until September 1st. I have a whole month. Colony is at 986. Yep, exactly two months away. I, I am not messing up the math. What about the other one? Should still be fine? Should be fine. Yes, please do march through all of this province, all these provinces. That would be great. Thank you, sir. You actually go to Rio de Janeiro, you guys will go to Satome. You will hopefully fight lots of natives that should hopefully be extremely aggressive and just chip away at your armies. Because we have an occupied province there now, we can send one stacks to occupy. Okay, that army has arrived. All the beautiful prosperity I was trying to build up is now gone. At 993, now we seize. It will already be our culture. I think in order for it to actually be our religion, we would have to um, send our colonists here. We only have 50 growth per year. So it's only going to grow by 4 per month for us. So it will take 2 months of extra ducats, unless we get lucky with the colonists, which I'm not going to really worry about that. If anything, I would prefer for it to just be Protestant. We'll still have a core, it'll just be the wrong religion. This one is at 980, so unless the math gets funky, we should be allowed to just let that one go all the way up to 999. You can join him. We're going to lose four ducats a month this month. Like he might not have fought any rebels. 
And he's definitely going like straight for my capital or something, which is kind of dangerous. Got a wall breach here, though. Five siege status on the capital. We've got 38 day siege techs. To the panic as civil war. Tapuya has been very nice to me and not actually trying to attack me yet, which is very nice indeed. All right, so you should be at 997 and you are close. 987. So, yep, it went up by seven again. One more month on that one. I can't risk sending the army down there, getting caught up in a battle, and then being unable to seize it. The great thing about seizing it... Wait, Tapia just gave me money? Even though he hates me. Are you... Yeah, you are hostile to me. And yet you are actually going to help me out, huh? Weird. Okay, this is at 987. I feel like... Oh, it wasn't the monthly ticket. It was the Tapia giving me money that made that sound. It's the same note. It's the same sound effect. Seven, five, and six development over there. Okay, we have 11 war scores so far. Now 18 on the actual war. And as actual capital, we just got a supply shortage. Those 50 ducats, you know I'm just going to use those to support rebels in your land, right? <laughs> like, that was sort of dumb of you, but okay. Wish we had a siege leader. Flint, glass, and lead crystal. Base production in Zaragoza. Price of glass is changed by negative 65%. Damn. That's a lot less glass value. This would take a two-troop siege because it's a, it's a farther away from occupied land. And I guess even though we're devastating our own cores, we're just going to let it happen. Our prestige is completed. Yay. And it is Protestant. Which is fine. We're, we're going to become Protestant soon. We don't have any separatism, right? No, we do actually have separatism. That's fine. Whatever. We have some war exhaustion. High, high, high intolerance, but we're going to come become Protestant after this war. Add the state. Uh, we need to seize this one now. It's at 994. Now we go fight that army. Not going to worry about conversions. We got a... Uh, we didn't get a core. Because we're core... We're, we're taking... We got a territorial core, right? Yeah, territorial core for free. I will make it into a full core. Which means we can give that to somebody, which is probably going to be the nobles, since they want more land and this is crappy territory and whatever. Alright, so now we fight this army, while hopefully avoiding that 7 stack, which is heading into Pontal, and going to do awful things to my colony. Or we could try to get him down to low enthusiasm and just peace out before we actually have to fight Pont... Uh, What's-his-face's army? Charua. Got such high enthusiasm that even if I parked my army on his fort, it would not likely scare him away. But that siege might be better for us overall than doing the battles. Sunda lost a war. Dongala lost a war. We have 26% control here. Let's collect from trade while we have... While we have that estuary occupied. He's marching straight through the colony. I guess that's good. Taking this war very slow, but, you know, I, I have to. They've got tactics, they've got morale, they've got all kinds of advantages. The only advantage we have right now is we're flanking this one stack. Okay, and now we need to get the hell out of here. We're getting caught out. By a day. I'm gonna scorch my own province. Unfortunately, that's going to raise the devastation by five and then increase devastation over time. But I can't do anything about it. I gotta save this army. I can't fight him. So scorch it. Let's get the hell out of here. We're leaving. Straight down here. Join everyone else. I need the loot tick. We need money. 21% chance we take that capital. We're gonna have to do development to fix this at some point. We got no devastation there, there, or there, but I just ruined it. It's so dirty now. Almost gets rid of most of it, but. Oh well. Prosperity is nice to have, but we don't have to have it. And we have another colony that just completed. 
which is also part of that area. We can create a full core. Give that somebody. Probably the clergy. It's just naval supplies, so I do need more money. We'll give it to the clergy for the tax revenue. And then probably revoke this from the clergy, since we do have some development there. Maybe not yet. Now, there's that other colony, but it's going to take him so long to get it up to a thousand that I don't think we need to worry about it for this war. All right, cool. I'm going to take a short break here. Next episode, we're going to probably wrap up this war. I might peace out ahead of fighting that guy's army. I really don't want to lose any troops right now, lose any power before we have to deal with Tapuya. So as soon as this guy's down to low enthusiasm, I might just demand it, and he might peace out after the occupation of the capital. All right, for now, like I said, I'll see you again in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.